So, do whatever you have to do to make sure you're protected, long sleeves and a mosquito repellent. With DEET, yeah. All right, now the great debate over Ritalin. Millions of kids are taking it, some as early as preschool. More and more schools are recommending Ritalin to treat behavioral problems, but there are some side effects, some seemingly worse than the problems the drugs are supposed to treat. The question on the table, are we over-medicating our kids? Dr. Vida Bhushan Gupta is Associate Professor of Clinical Pediatrics at New York Medical College. He says Ritalin is an effective treatment for kids and makes that argument in his book, No Apologies for Ritalin. Dr. Peter Bregan is on the other side. He's a psychiatrist and author of The Ritalin Fact Book. He says the drug just doesn't work. Good morning. Appreciate your time this morning. Dr. Gupta, I'd like to start with you. You say Ritalin is effective. There are millions of kids taking it. Do all of these kids have problems that can't be treated any other way? Uh, thank you. My comments are grounded in real world. I see Sean Smith, who is a nine-year-old uh, second child of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Now, he comes to my office. Uh, he knocks three times at my door before his turn comes. He comes in my office, wreaks a havoc, touches everything. The teacher writes that he raises his hand every time any question is asked. And Mr. and Mrs. Smith have done everything to manage him uh, through behavior modification. Now, there, is, there can be other causes of such behavior, and a good professional should do proper differential diagnosis, going into psychosocial history, and then if he makes a diagnosis that, yes, the child meets the symptoms, has the symptoms, and meets the criteria of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which are resulting in dis-ease or disorder, in the school and family environment, yes, this child is a candidate for medication. Yes, well, there, are, there are other treatments available. Yeah, I, but I don't think anybody's disagreeing with the fact that it's, it, it's effective and it works, but I think the question on the table is, are we using it too much? So, Well, and how does it work is one of the questions. And it works by suppressing the child's spontaneous behavior. It flattens the child's ability to generate any kind of activity. We know that from animal studies and human and children and adults. It also causes obsessive compulsive behavior. So in this little child who is lacking in discipline fundamentally and doesn't know how to control himself fundamentally because he hasn't been given the proper discipline as a child, then you give him the drug and it quiets him for a few weeks. But well, at the I think cost the of brain dysfunction, it causes brain dysfunction. Dr. Gupta, how do you respond to that? Yeah, I, I think we are putting too much emphasis on parenting, we are blaming the victims, we are saying they did not discipline their child. But here I'm talking about people grounded in real life who have done everything and they're very nice parents and they have four children and three of them are fine, but this child has got an innate inability to control his behavior. There but is the no evidence that any child is born bad. That's the old bad seed theory. Kids are different. This no, may I'm not be even the talking most active morality. kid in the family. Not a lot of these are the most wonderful kids in the family, and the parents just haven't gotten the proper guidance on how to discipline a kid with special energy. No, we should not bring in the moral question. It is not a, a question of morality. Children uh, as young as five years old, they have pre-conventional morality in which the child basically listens to, uh, doesn't know what is right and wrong sometimes. Dr. Bregan, Dr. Bregan, yeah. I want to ask you a question. You're familiar with this uh, story we've been reading about here in New York, about this uh, student in New York that was... Uh, I'm almost forced to take Ritalin. What can you tell us about that? Well, the child actually got psychotic while taking Paxil, which was given to the child because Ritalin has made him depressed. Stimulant drugs make kids depressed. They make them obsessive. Now, Bragan, there is no evidence. Then they end up on other drugs like the antidepressants. They also make kids manic, and we have animal studies showing that Ritalin causes brain damage. No, That's Dr. why Bragan. it's a Schedule II drug with cocaine under the DEA because it changes the child's brain. I have cases where kids have gone from Ritalin to cocaine and committed violence on cocaine. No, I They're think all the same category of drug. Let's stop drugging our kids and take responsibility. When a kid knocks on your door three times, Doc, it's time for the parents to figure out what kind of plan do they need to teach their child to meet normal expectations. Dr. Dr. Bragan, how do you respond to that? And I'm yeah, going to give you the last word. Yeah, I think Dr. Bragan is raising up the side effect hysteria. I've been treating these children for the last 14 years, and I find there are very 
minimal side effects. Yes, if you take any Doctors chemical, find they are going they to be side find. effects. The studies I have show not seen children. I have seen, from the literature, you can always dish out one or two studies which had negative effects. But there are over 400 studies which prove that methylphenidate is effective. Other All medications right. are effective. Dr. They Dr. lead Dr. to good self-esteem. They uh, provide the child ability to you learn know. and sit right. still Doctors, in the classroom. We have to leave it there due to time. Appreciate both sides of the debate this morning. Thanks a lot. Well, everybody, fans have a hungry heart for Bruce Springsteen. He's hitting the road, and we're going to take you with him in a second.